Guys, today I have for you kinda mainstream setup, but little bit twisted, so it's out of the box, but not really. Uh, well, you can understand everything in a second. This build slaps PvP and PV. Right now in the game we have tons of new players, so this build will help every agent to destroy legendary strongholds, heroic missions or control points and PvP as well. And in this one you have to switch only two mod slots in order to destroy Dark Zone and you're gonna be able to fight against Elmos engine, exotic assault rifle against skill build users and against tanky setups because you have tons of dps and of course crowd control and on legendary difficulty you will have tons of fun stuff as usual uncle butcher in the building and welcome to insanity if you are new here my beautiful bastard hit that like smash that up or leave a hateful comment it truly depends on your preference sometimes those hate messages warms my cold heart during night mm. <laughs> in this one unfortunately we are using as well saint elmos engine exotic assault rifle for pve mostly for pvp we will use kingbreaker name the assault rifle with perfect flatland talent because it will amplify our damage and it will hit extremely hard although Keep in mind that I would strongly recommend you to stack your St. Elmo's engine exotic assault rifle always in dark zone. Let it be stacked and holstered. Be ready for fight because in DZ fight is always around the corner. So always be prepared my beautiful bastard. But before we continue, quick word from the sponsor Deviant.net. If you don't have enough time or a good teammate but you still want to have all the best items in your game then Deviant.net is set for you. They have absolutely amazing team on consoles. They will complete your order super quick. Everything happens through account sharing. This service has been working for many many years they have tons of customer reviews you can check everything by yourself but now with my promo code rbd you will have 15 percent discount on absolutely all service it's an amazing deal especially when right now they have some crazy sales going on but now let's get back to my legendary setup and this one is pretty goddamn special not only we are kind of tanky as well but dps output man dps output is really nice and this setup will cover you in three different directions hazard protection against shock effect check survivability check dps output check status effects by your uh, setup check and the last one, but not the least one aspect of this setup, your gemmer pools now can take out skill build runner set skills, you name it. So if somebody's running tier 6 skills, now you can take out those skills with this setup because you have 3 skill tiers on this one without ninja bike backpack and memento backpack. And that's pretty goddamn impressive if you ask me. So no shock effect on you. You can stop all uh, status effects in the game. You can stop uh, skills, other agent skills. You can deal nice damage and you have tons of armor. So top tier setup for PvP and PvP and this setup will cover you on all mainstream directions at least right now the game asks for shock resistance asks for tons of armor in the arch zone and at the same time nice dps almost engine exotic assault rifle apply shock effect if enemies don't have uh, shock resistance or agents don't have it they will be cooked just like this npc so if they don't have shock resistance use saint elmos if they have use king breaker name the assault rifle with perfect flat line this bad boy hits hard for specialization we will go for technician specialization here we will gain extra skill tier we will have linked laser pointer attachment which we will use on our king breaker assault rifle it will proc flatline talent that's amplified weapon damage and skill damage as you see my numbers are pretty delicious over 50% crit chance over 170% crit damage it's pretty pretty 
Nice, man. For the pistol though, we will use a TDI named pistol with insane and this pistol will give us extra skill tier and with this pistol we have 3 skill tiers. So when you have to take out some kind of skills, switch to your pistol, use your gemmer pools, boom, easy money. Easy, easy, easy money, you're gonna proc in sync. In sync, although it's not necessary, but sometimes that extra skill damage with your gemmer pulse is not that bad. So this uh, three weapon combo will cover you basically everything. Kingbreaker with DPS against the agents who has shock resistance, who doesn't have shock resistance, use Elmos, exotic assault rifle, and to take out annoying skill built runners, use your gemmer pulse with pistol. For the gear, I'm using two pieces from Arcobus gear set. Mask with crit damage, crit chance, crit damage mod, and two piece brand set bonus will give us skill haste, which is kinda handy, and of course extra skill tier, and that's the reason why we have three skill tiers, and we can now face top tier skill build runners in dark zone. In PvP, if you will fight other agents with shock effect or Saint Elmos engine exotic assault rifle I recommend you to simply switch two mods here and you will have maximum protection you will be immune to shock effects simply switch two crit damage mods or one crit damage mod for shock resistance and apply maybe hazard protection attribute somewhere on your gear and you will reach 90% holster by itself will give us 60% 10% has on your shade tech watch level and then you have to get only 20% extra hazard protection to be immune against shock effect and don't forget that actually holster by itself can shock enemies if you're gonna hit them with Saint Elmo's engine exotic assault rifle and shield it works in PvP and PV sometimes this can be really really handy so top tier synergy and to be immune again against shock effect simply switch to mods or one mod and one attribute you can sacrifice a little bit crit chance and crit damage and you will be immune against shock effect for pve leave it as it is leave it with every crit damage you don't need really shock resistance for chest piece i'm using fanaries for assault rifle damage with obliterate since we are using nice assault rifles we're gonna stack obliterate really quickly it has no cooldown no range limitations you can stack and keep it alive all the time on backpack i'm using sombra for crit damage boost and of course vigilance vigilance is by far the best dps talent on our backpack if you're not using maybe eclipse protocol gear set or any other green gear set as the talents goes vigilance is the way to go yeah you could use companion companion is nice if you are afraid uh, by receiving incoming damage that you're gonna lose some dps output but Trust me, you have enough DPS with this time to kill. Vigilance is the way to go in conflict and in dark zone. For the skills though, I recommend you to use gemmer pools and second skill could be your shield or decoy or maybe fix a drone. It truly really depends on your preference. Uh, shield, decoy, maybe this combination, gemmer pool, shield. It, it, there are tons of ways how to run. It truly depends on your playstyle, you can switch skills, but I would recommend you to use shield and of course uh, gemmer pulse or maybe gemmer pulse and decoy in dark zone. Butchers of the mic, bye!